Developing news this morning back here at home in Tampa. One person is dead and another hurt after an accident happened at a Pepsi plant near the USF area. Investigators tell us there was a mishap with a piece of equipment. Our Ellen McNamara has been on the scene all morning. She joins us now with the newest developments. Good morning, Ellen. What have you learned? Good morning, Dia. Well, right now I can tell you that I'm standing near the front entrance of the Pepsi plant, and all morning long I've seen fire trucks coming and going. Now, since my last report, I can tell you that someone from the medical examiner's office arrived, and right now crews are trying to pull the piece of equipment off of the man that died. Now, Tampa Fire Rescue shared with me some photos that I want to show you now so you can get an idea of what this lift looks like. The lift is in a small space, and the contraption almost looks like an elevator shaft. A few firefighters can be seen in at least one of the photos. Now, I just learned the man that died and the man that was injured were contractors from Pennsylvania. Tampa Fire Rescue tell me that the men came to Tampa to fix the lift system that was having some issues. The men were underneath the lift that was about 20 feet in the air when it just collapsed. The man that survived has serious leg injuries and is at Tampa General Hospital. The accident happened in the warehouse where thousands of Pepsi products are stored. According to an old newspaper article, the warehouse is a fairly new building. I asked Captain Bill Wade if the plant had any safety issues in the past. I've been working for Tampa Fire Rescue for about 30 years. This is the first alarm I can remember being at this bottling plant. And Captain Wade also said that OSHA has been notified. The agency will be out here later this morning to investigate and also see if this accident could have been prevented. Reporting live in Tampa, Ellen McNamara, ABC Action News.